Welcome to the global defense battle. The K-9 Vitra is a self-propelled howitzer developed by South Korea's Hanwha Defense and locally manufactured in India by Larsen and Tubro under a transfer of technology agreement. Derived from the South Korean K-9 Thunder, this artillery system is designed for long-range, high-mobility fire support. The K-9 Vitra was specifically adapted for Indian conditions, with improvements like enhanced cooling systems and desert operation capabilities to meet the challenges of harsh terrains. India inducted the K-9 Vitra into its artillery corps in November 2018, primarily to modernize its aging artillery fleet. On the other hand, the Caesar, Camion Aqib Dun System D Artillery, is a wheeled self-propelled artillery system developed by Nexter Systems in France. Its origins trace back to the 1990s, with its first model operational in 2003. Unlike the tracked K9 Vidra, the Caesar is mounted on a truck chassis, offering exceptional mobility on roads and rough terrains. Its primary purpose is rapid deployment and precision artillery support for expeditionary forces and peacekeeping missions. It was developed to enhance the operational flexibility of the French Army, providing a mobile yet powerful alternative to traditional towed howitzers. And today, we will compare both of these howitzers, India's K-9 Vajra versus France's Caesar. So, let's start. Talking about the design first, the K-9 Vajra is a 155mm, 52 caliber tracked self-propelled howitzer developed by South Korea's Hanwha Defense and manufactured in India by Larsen & Tubro. It's all-welded steel hull, and turret provide protection against small arms fire and artillery shell fragments. The vehicle measures approximately 12 meters in length, 3.4 meters in width, and 2.73 meters in height, with a combat weight of about 47 tons. The vehicle is powered by an MTU MT881 Ka 508-cylinder water-cooled diesel engine, producing 1,000 horsepower, allowing a top speed of 67 km per hour and a cruising range of 360 km. The Caesar is a French 155 mm, 52 caliber self-propelled howitzer developed by Nexter Systems. Unlike the tracked K9 Vitra, the Caesar is mounted on a 6 into 6 or 8 into 8 truck chassis, offering enhanced mobility. The 6 into 6 version measures 10 meters in length, 2.55 meters in width, and 3.7 meters in height, with a weight of approximately 17.7 tons. The vehicle is powered by a diesel engine, enabling a maximum road speed of 100 km per hour and an operational range of 600 km. Talking about the caliber and performance first, both the K9 Vidra and the Caesar are equipped with 155mm, 52 caliber main guns, allowing them to fire NATO standard ammunition. The caliber indicates the internal diameter of the gun barrel and, combined with the barrel length, 52 times the diameter, affects the projectile's velocity and range. A longer barrel length enables the propellant gases to accelerate the projectile over a greater distance, resulting in higher muzzle velocity and extended range. The K9 Vitra has a maximum firing range of approximately 30 km with standard high-explosive projectiles. This range can be extended to about 40 km using K307 base bleed HE ammunition, which reduces air resistance during flight. On the other hand, the Caesar Howitzer achieves a firing range of up to 42 km with extended range full bore shells and can exceed 50 km when using rocket assisted projectiles. Factors influencing these ranges include the type of ammunition, propellant charge, barrel condition, and environmental conditions like temperature and air pressure. In terms of rate of fire, the K9 Vidra can deliver a burst of 3 rounds in 15 seconds and sustain a rate of 6 to 8 rounds per minute for 3 minutes. The Caesar Howitzer can fire 6 rounds per minute. The rate of fire is affected by factors such as the efficiency of the loading mechanism, crew proficiency, and thermal management of the barrel to prevent overheating. Overall, the Caesar's longer maximum range with certain ammunition types provides an advantage in striking distant targets. However, the K9 Vidra's higher burst rate of fire and armored protection offer superior sustained firepower and crew safety in high-intensity combat scenarios. Coming to the loading and automation, the K9 Vidra features a semi-automatic ammunition feeding system, enabling rapid loading and firing sequences. This system supports a burst firing capability of 3 rounds in 30 seconds, an intense rate of 15 rounds in 3 minutes, and a sustained rate of 60 rounds per hour. Its advanced digital fire control system includes a gunner's primary sight for direct firing and night vision capabilities. Additionally, the system can execute multiple rounds simultaneous impact missions, where multiple rounds fired at different trajectories arrive on target simultaneously. A thermal warning device monitors barrel temperature, feeding data to the fire control system to prevent overheating. On the other hand, the Caesar Howitzer incorporates a high level of automation, featuring an automatic shell loading system that facilitates a firing rate of 6 rounds per minute. Its advanced fire control system includes a ballistic computer and an inertial navigation unit, 
enabling rapid deployment and accurate targeting. The system is designed for integration with various command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance systems, enhancing operational effectiveness. The Caesar's design supports shoot-and-scoot tactics, allowing it to fire and relocate swiftly to avoid counter-battery fire. Overall, both the howitzers employ advanced automation and fire control systems to enhance their operational capabilities. Talking about the ammunition type, both the K9 Vidra and the Caesar howitzers are equipped with 155mm, 52 caliber main guns, enabling them to fire a variety of NATO standard ammunition types. These include high-explosive shells for general-purpose bombardment, smoke rounds for battlefield concealment, illumination rounds for night operations, and precision-guided munitions for accurate targeting. The K9 can fire standard HE projectiles up to 30 kilometers, with extended ranges of about 40 kilometers using base bleed HE ammunition, which reduces air resistance during flight. On the other hand, the Caesar howitzer achieves ranges up to 42 kilometers with extended range full bore shells and can exceed 50 kilometers with rocket assisted projectiles. Factors affecting these ranges include ammunition type, propellant charge, barrel condition, and environmental conditions like temperature and air pressure. In terms of accuracy, both howitzers are equipped with advanced fire control systems that enhance targeting precision. The K9 Vidra features a digital fire control system with an automatic gun laying system, which calculates firing solutions based on target data and environmental inputs. The Caesar howitzer incorporates an inertial navigation system coupled with a ballistic computer, allowing for rapid deployment and accurate first-round fire. The Caesar's design supports shoot-and-scoot tactics, enabling it to fire and relocate swiftly to avoid counter-battery fire. Factors contributing to accuracy include the sophistication of fire control systems, crew training, quality of ammunition, and the ability to quickly adjust to target movements and environmental changes. Determining which howitzer is more accurate depends on specific operational contexts and the integration of their respective systems. Talking about the chassis and mobility, the K9 Vidra utilizes a track chassis, providing robust off-road capabilities and enabling it to traverse challenging terrains such as deserts and mountains. This design allows for a maximum speed of 67 km per hour and an operational range of approximately 480 km. The vehicle's steel armor offers protection against small arms fire and artillery shell fragments, enhancing crew survivability in combat situations. On the other hand, the Caesar howitzer is mounted on a 6 into 6 or 8 into 8 wheel truck chassis, emphasizing mobility and rapid deployment. The 6 into 6 version can reach speeds up to 100 km per hour on roads, with an operational range of about 600 km. However, its off-road performance may be less effective compared to tracked vehicles in extremely rugged terrains. The Caesar's armored cabin provides protection against small arms fire and shell splinters, with newer versions offering enhanced armor for improved crew safety. Regarding cost, the K9 Vidra has a unit cost of approximately $6 million. This higher cost compared to the original K9, which is around $3.5 million, is due to modifications for Indian conditions and the inclusion of indigenous components. On the other hand, the Caesar Howitzer, developed by France's Nexter Systems, has a unit cost ranging from $2.9 million to $5.2 million, depending on the configuration and customer requirements. The lower cost of the Caesar is attributed to its wheeled chassis, which is generally less expensive to produce than tracked systems like the K9 Vidra. The K9 Vidra has seen significant production and deployment within the Indian Army. Initially, 100 units were manufactured domestically by Larson and Tubro under a technology transfer agreement with Hanwha Defense, with deliveries completed by February 2021. These howitzers have been deployed in various terrains, including high-altitude regions like Ladakh, demonstrating their versatility. In response to operational requirements, the Indian Army has initiated the procurement of an additional 100 K9 Vidra howitzers to bolster its artillery capabilities. On the other hand, the French Caesar has been widely adopted both domestically and internationally. The French Army operates several Caesar units, which have been deployed in various missions, including operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. The Caesar has also been exported to multiple countries. Saudi Arabia has acquired over 130 units, Thailand operates 6, Indonesia has procured 37, and Denmark has ordered 19 units. Notably, France has supplied 30 Caesar howitzers to Ukraine, with Denmark contributing an additional 19 units to support Ukraine's defense efforts. In summary, both the howitzers showcase two distinct approaches to modern artillery systems. This comparison highlights the evolution of artillery technology, offering insights into how modern armies balance power, mobility, and precision on the battlefield. Which howitzer do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.